thank you for watching these videos of advanced powerpoint graphics and in this video we're looking at some of the advanced primitive objects or advanced objects all right so here is a whole set of objects but now we're looking for some special objects that are rare that are unique all right so one of them apart from the line okay so we have these lines double lines blah but we have this curve connector curved connector okay you can see so these are advanced tools and you can see i'm moving and manipulating it all right we do have okay now this is it with one arrow and another with a double arrow all right we have also this curve you just draw a curve and then you click on the other side and then you move your mouse around until you click you click so i'm just clicking until i can come back to the first point so it fills in the shape like you can see okay so all i can even want to end there all i have to do is press escape and i would have completed that so what does it mean i can even trace around an object with this curve so let's say i want to trace oh, let me be sure here it is let's say i want to create a certain shape you know i can do it with that curve object all right and then we have others still and then there is this freeform tool or primitive object this i'm just dragging with a mouse and while clicking you can see until i uh, bring back to the beginning or press escape okay so i've not closed this closed it off that's why i have no fill but right now i can fill it okay we shall come to that and then also we do have this which is the scribble this is like drawing okay so i can draw with a free hand so you see so if i want i wanted to trace a silhouette okay I've just drawn what can I call this dog paws okay so these are some of the advanced tools advanced tools that are usually not mentioned now we're going to see how we're going to connect everything but before we do that let us begin with the basic shapes so let's see so if I get this okay the rectangle and then I can um, combine with the triangle. So I'm pressing shift so that the triangle is uniform. And then I come up here and rotate. Okay, the triangle to face down. You see? I have a basic shape. So let's talk about let's use this opportunity to talk about colors. Okay, so I can come here up here where you see fill. And then I choose that I want this to be filled a certain color okay and then still the outline i can choose as another color of the outline let me choose i let me choose green and then still under outline i can choose the weight of the outline and you can see that okay all i can choose that i i don't want any outline where you see no outline same for the fill i can choose that i don't want any fill now let me let me just come and change this so that it can have the same feel by simply clicking here okay or i can come and select the the new feel that i've just created will be among these okay it will be among these so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click here okay so i also remove the boundary so no outline no outline and all i have to do is select both of these so i'm pressing shift and then i press ctrl g the same as grouping them so ctrl g 
okay so you see it's moving now as a group all right so just to make this a bit fancy i can come and do some little animations on this by coming to the animation section and then i choose maybe let me choose flying okay you see all right so let's meet in the next video where we're going to be creating our chrome logo